Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it, and I promise to update daily. If you love this watch, you can see it, and you can purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. Today, we discuss an upscale open dial Zenith Chronomaster. The Chronomaster Open in red gold, the timepiece on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, a 42 millimeter COSC certified Swiss chronometer with a reasonably constrained 50.3 millimeter lug to lug dimension, and the shape and downward slant of the lugs does count and mitigate against fit issues. The watch is reasonably slim at 13.2 millimeters thick with a generously sloped and stepped case blank thanks to that enormous box section sapphire, and then a spacing between the lugs of 21 millimeters. The timepiece is very solid, all of a piece, it's hefty on the wrist, and it inspires confidence and satisfaction. It's gratifying in its way. The timepiece has a large rectangular scale dark brown alligator leather strap with matte finish about these scales, and as you can see, a folded edge with a monotone stitch on the underside. Inlaid rubber in Zenith's fashion, natural vulcanized, very supple against the skin, and isolating the leather from the oils of the wrist it ensures long wearing durability as well as comfort. You can see, not just comfortable, but also handy. You have the ability to quickly adjust using this matching 18 karat red gold Zenith pin buckle. Jumping back to the case, I may as well deploy my polishing cloth in its service right now because it's a lovely case and as you can see handsome sculpted and pretty much all of high polish with the exception of the lug hoods themselves because the watch is not overly thick the use of high polish red gold here seems appropriate elegant not quite decadent but lovely in every respect you can see that the slope of the case flank is fairly complex it's not a sheer side it does sort of tuck down and under and the transitional bevel from the shear to the hoods of the lugs nicely breaks up the mass of the metal with a sort of invert ducktail downturn at the edge satin on the hoods of the lugs and polish outboard in a sliver halo like ring a minimalist bezel surrounding a glorious dial. And the dial is incredibly handsome. There's a dark blue metallic luster to the minutes and seconds track outboard. You can see there's a tachymeter with a slight dished Rayhot quality sloping down and it's framing all applique gold indices that are loomed the cantilever out over the center dial, which is a opaline or matte silver. You'll also appreciate the fact that there's a panoply of colors, everything from blue to ruthenium to black, and just about every grayscale tone in between black and white. A handsome blued screw fixed bezel surrounding the escapement, and you see there are registers for chronograph minutes and seconds. Well, what do you lose? Well, you lose the date, and for many that will actually be a breath of fresh air, as there are those who simply can't reconcile themselves with a the date aperture. The open escapement, on the other hand, is simply delightful. If you love the idea of a tourbillon and you love display case backs, but you don't want to remove your watch from the wrist to enjoy your mechanism, and you don't have tourbillon money, this Solution gives you 90% of the visual interest of a tourbillon on the dial side at 10% of the price. Let's look a little bit deeper right here. You can see the skeletonized bridges of the caliber 4061 have been opened up to let you see the balance, the escapement, which is entirely silicon. You can see the iridescent blue and purple of the escape wheel and the lever, and they are completely unlubricated for long wearing durability and long term timing stability. You can see the fourth wheel and an enormous extended pinion driving a tri spoke constant seconds display. The timepiece features a very crisp column wheel action. And one of my favorite features of the Zenith El Primero family of chronograph movements is that you can easily see so much going on on the case back. Automatic winding with bidirectional action, silicon escapement, 50 hour power reserve, and of course, being an El Primero, it has that classic 10 beat per second double step cadence. You can see the chronograph levers and horns interacting with the blued column wheel. Bearing all, you'll even appreciate the visibility of the lateral clutch, which moves away from and into contact with the chronograph center wheel. Withdraw it, and now you can see the recentering hammers falling on the hard cams at center. The El Primero is one of the few truly beautiful automatic winding chronograph mechanisms. You get all of this, and you get it with a COSC chronometer certification. The rarest of refinements, Zenith reserves this for special editions and 
premier models, and this Chronomaster in full gold certainly qualifies as the latter. Now, the timepiece is 100 meters water resistant, which makes it remarkably resilient for a dress oriented watch. And were you to put it on a water resistant band, you would have absolutely no difficulty swimming with this timepiece. This truly is a do it all. Before you reach for the usual suspects in Swiss high horology, remember Zenith, the most underrated complete manufacturer in the business, and the El Primero, still the standard among chronographs. See it and make it yours on the watch box. Zenith Chronomaster Open.